Hello, neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. You did. That's quite an accomplishment for one so young, neonate. And with discretion as well. Again, you impress me. And your efforts are well appreciated. Please accept this gift as payment for your accomplishment. The Tremere clan appreciates your confidentiality. Yes, indeed. You have more than proven yourself, and I have spoken of you to my lord. He and I both agree that you would be a great asset to the clan. It means that you are welcome to join the Chantry as an apprentice. As a result, you will live here in a room of your own, and enjoy the luxury and privacy it affords you. Do you accept this honor, Neonate? I knew that I was right about you. Welcome to the Pyramid, my apprentice. Your things have already been moved from your haven in Santa Monica. They are upstairs waiting for you. I am also aware of your ghoul. She is a questionable distraction in my opinion, but she will be welcome here. Of course. What is it you would like to know? Surely. What else would you like to know? The Anarchs feel that they don't need the structure and discipline of the Camarilla. I feel that they pose a threat, both to those loyal to the Camarilla and to themselves. Most are mere children and need our guidance. Surely, what else would you like to know? No. There are many independent clans who are not aligned with the Camarilla, and the Sabbat is another sect of various vampire clans whose beliefs are very different than our own. Unsavory sorts, to say the least. I understand you have already run afoul of them. Surely, what else would you like to know? Lacroix is a prince, neonate, and a ventru on top of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... But I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. Hmm. Well, without saying too much, I think that Sebastian Lacroix lacks the usual discretion necessary to be a prince. I see in him a lust for power that overshadows his responsibility to the Camarilla. <laughs> no, young one. I aspire not to such lowly heights. My only interests are those of my clan and the Camarilla. <laughs> you will do well in this new life, young one. That I can see already. Of course. Me out, God damn it! I'll kill that crazy bitch. Psycho bitch brought me here, hit me in the head, and locked me up. What the fuck? I mean, who the fuck does that? Therapeutic. As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. What the hell does that mean? 
Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Hey! You're back. I um, I went out this evening and I, well, I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I, he came back here with me and well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. Um, uh, in the bathroom. I, I locked, I locked him in. Did I mess up? You're back. I um I went out this evening and I well I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone so I he came back here with me and well I thought you might want to you know want to drink his blood. Uh, in the bathroom, I I I locked I locked him in. Did I mess up? dead? Why? How could anyone think of harming someone so extraordinary? I will. Okay.
Fighters are trying to contain a flash fire in the Hollywood Hills this morning. Smoke and debris from a house fire alerted residents late this evening. The fire had already spread rapidly by the time firefighters arrived due to brush and wind conditions. Fire officials expect the blaze to be extinguished within the next few hours, but are advising local homeowners in the area to evacuate. Simon Milligan, host of local cable show Haunted L.A., and his crew are reported missing tonight. The team of the popular Supernatural-themed program were filming...